So very quick follow up sure. on the secretary. You said his, from from what you know, his bladder condition is not related to his cancer diagnosis. Right. But if this is a totally new issue, that seems to raise more questions about his overall health if he's dealing with multiple problems here. Yeah. Again, this is not uh, my understanding. It's, it's not related to his cancer diagnosis. Um, I can't speak to whether there were further complications from you know when he was hospitalized previously. That's something that the doctors would need to speak to, and um, we're hoping to provide more information later today on that. Yeah, Dan. Thank you. Uh, it, with the contact group coming up uh, and the supplemental very much still up in the air, uh, can you speak at all, at all to the secretary's message uh, to allies tomorrow, uh, and I suppose to ministerial at this week as well, mm -hmm. uh, just in terms of how, how the Europeans will need to lean in, how stopgap measures might be taken, um, I guess what plan B might be. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Um, so obviously don't want to get ahead of the secretary as he intends to participate uh, tomorrow in the virtual Ukraine defense contact group. But I think some of the messages that you'll hear is that the U.S. is going to stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes. Um, but we do need that congressional authority to continue to provide those packages. Um, so I'm not going to preview too much uh, for you right now, the secretary's remarks, but, you know, he's been in touch with his counterpart, uh, um, or I think late last week, um, about this and receiving battlefield updates as well. So I think what you'll hear from him is more of a commitment from the United States and that as soon as we get this supplemental package um, passed in the House, they will continue to see uh, aid flowing to them. Given all that political